Y'all always want to talk about motherfuckers appropriating a culture. Oh, Kim K did this. Oh, da, 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 da. Appropriation this, appropriation that. But you know what y'all never want to get into when it's done right? Can we talk about it? Let's talk about it. Oh, boy. Let's talk about it. Do what I said. Don't make me have to beg. Uh. Make sure that I am fed. You know this heat is the best. Yeah. I've been telling all his friends that I am a super freak. I Bitch, am. I'm classy outside, but I hoe up in them sheets. He ain't yeah. never in his life that a woman like me. Better uh-huh. know it damn right, cause her name is she, she, nigga. What's going on, y'all? I am Sky Santana, aka Chut 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 Chi Chi. Okay, and listen, we just here to talk about the bullshit, the fuck shit, all of that shit that y'all be putting on Beyonce's internet. Okay, if y'all ain't put this shit out there, I wouldn't be fucking talking about it. Okay, so if I ain't say it, then it wasn't said. Okay, but today we talking about some good shit, bitch. We listen. I was scrolling on Tiki Talk. Okay, Tiki Talk. I was must listen. I must have been on that app like twelve hours yesterday. Okay, looking for content. Okay. Which was very easy to find. But that's like the here or there, bitch, because we got some real good fucking news, okay? We got some real good motherfucking news, okay? Because y'all, listen, y'all always talking about appropriation this, appropriation that, as a black woman. And I'm specifically talking to y'all that love to use as a black woman as your badge of honor, okay? Like, as a black woman, that is your aesthetic. And I don't mean as a black woman, that's your aesthetic. No, I mean, like, literally, the statement, as a black woman, is your entire fucking aesthetic. And y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm talking to those of y'all that get offended by literally every fucking thing okay the shade room posts the kardashians they they're breathing and you're fucking upset and having a horrible fucking week i'm specifically talking to y'all okay because y'all always want to talk about appropriation this appropriation that and i have deeper views on that whole thing because y'all love to say oh why aren't we as popular oh we don't get support oh this that and the third oh they take from us and this that listen bitch we don't own hip-hop no more okay i don't know who needs to hear baby but hip-hop is now popular culture and now black culture is now culture period okay and so it's not necessarily about people trying to be black Okay, it's more so now it's such a mainstream, wide stream thing that is no longer just secluded to the black community. Okay, and so this video might piss you off. I don't give a good goddamn because that's what the fuck is about to happen, bitch. Black Miley is back, and I cannot be more motherfucking excited. Let's go ahead and get into this motherfucking video. That went by a little fast. Let's get into it one more time. One more time, okay, and not too many more times because listen, Miley, my, y'all not about to copyright my motherfucking video, but one more time. Listen, listen, I know that as a black woman crowd is gonna have a field day with this. Let me not make that joke online. I'll get canceled because y'all so sensitive, okay? But on TikTok, y'all, y'all so hilarious. Chat, okay? L- listen, <laughs> let me not go there. But I'm happy. I'm motherfucking happy. And y'all can say what y'all want. I don't, go, I, I don't give a goddamn, okay? The world has gone to shits. Literally, I feel like the world was amazing before probably the year 2015 2016 really after that especially the music industry everything has become trash fucking trash okay and there have been plenty of artists that have gone black okay have stolen the black sound and profited all listen i don't give a fuck about none of that is the music good Because y'all the same motherfuckers that will sit here and complain up and goddamn down about a Miley Cyrus, about a Jennifer Lopez, about a Justin Timberlake, about a this, that, and a third, but ain't doing shit for your own goddamn community. Baby, I can't even ask you where you got your hair from without you fucking gatekeeping the vendor. Relax. Relax. Okay, because we suddenly black pride and blah, 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 and... Okay, but when it counts, let's start there, baby. Okay, so yes, I'm somebody who I celebrate music. I celebrate humans. It ain't that damn deep for me. It, it's not that goddamn deep for me. If Miley want to do a hip hop sound and pop lock it and drop it and jerk, like, I don't give a goddamn. 
is the music good? Is the music good? Because the music that black people have been putting out, like, we, look, we can talk about it. Y'all want to talk about it? Do y'all really want to talk about it? Okay, do we really want to get into how it took a white girl hopping on some 808s to sound better than half the shit that's fucking out today? Let's really talk about it, okay? And that's not me saying, you know, in caping for, like, I'm not, I'm not, listen, don't put words in my mouth. And I, ain't, if I ain't say it, then it wasn't said. But what I am saying is that Miley made great ass fucking music. And this is somebody who grew up on Disney Channel. Okay, Lil Miss Hannah Montana, even then, best of both worlds, I was a shit. Classic. Okay. But when Miley decided to do her little black thing for her black scent and black producers and Mike Will made it and all of that, she created greatness. Greatness. Bangas is literally one of the best fucking sonically great albums of all fucking time. The writing was good. The fucking lyrics were, well, same shit. Okay. But for the people in the back, the writing was good. The lyrics were good. Okay. The audio was good. The quality was good. The audio engineering was good. The production was good. Sonically, it was good. Harmonies was good. The performances were good. Like everything about Miley's Black era was fucking magic. Black girl magic. <laughs> hey, we'll be getting canceled today. Okay, but listen, I miss Miley's black girl magic era. I do, I do, I do, I do. Because what the fuck do we have to look forward to these days? Summer Walker? Janae Aiko? I mean, because aside from Doja, Chloe, and Tanache. Which one of these other girls is really about to become like an international pop superstar? Okay, aside from Doja, Chloe, and Tanisha, like who else is going to have a fucking Vegas residency in 20 years that we're going to be running to go see because they got bops on bops on bops and hits that sick like grit? Like, who are we running to see? Who? I'll wait. And this is not to say like, oh, because I know somebody going, I know somebody going to take it down. It, listen, Listen, what Lady Gaga say? Okay, if you go into a room and it's 100 people, it's always going to be that one dumb bitch that's in my comments. It's always going to be. Okay? So before we even... Oh, wow, we got to look the white people to say... It. Baby, we're not making it that damn deep. Miley makes great music and she sounds great on 808s. It's that goddamn simple. And her and Mike Will made it make magic together. So I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Okay? So enough with the motherfucking naysayers. Those of y'all that love Black Melly, not Black Melly. <laughs> Listen... Hey, Miley, take the name. Give me my 15%. What's up, girl? Okay, Miley, what's good? Okay, listen. Everything about every... Come on. Fingers in the air. Coming out on stage with an ad. Like, that's... That's when we were a people. Like, we really used to be a people. It was pre-Trump, okay? It was pre-COVID. Like, we really used to be a fucking people. She came in like a wrecking ball. And even though she came in like a wrecking ball, we were still a fucking people and still somehow intact. And now the world is a fucking mess. I don't know. When I heard Bangers, listen, that was literally my 2013, 2014. I would play that album every fucking day. Okay, I remember I used to work outside, right? Because it is, listen, like right now, Renaissance is that album for me where I listen to it all day, every day. Like all day, every day when I go outside. If you catch me on live, I'm always listening to it. But when I go outside and I'm working, like that's what I listen to. It gets me through, especially cold weather. And like, that's crazy because 10 years ago, that's when Beyonce dropped self title and that did it for me then too as well. But aside from self title, it was bangers that really got me fucking through. Like I would listen to that shit from beginning to end every time I rode the bus from deep in Jersey to the city. And every time I went from the city back home, like I would listen to bangers. And my favorite track was SMS. It, it was the song with Britney. Like that was my fucking shit. Four by four, one away we go. Four by four, one away we go. Ba -na -na, da -na -na. Like, oh my god, join my hand into the night. Like, that fucking album, oh my god, listen, I'm fucking excited. Kill said it, I'm fucking excited. Black Miley is fucking back, and whoever don't like it, bitch, I don't care. Go get a job. Go, go touch some grass. Go start an LLC. I don't know. Go do something. Go do something. Because some of us are, are fucking excited. The music nowadays sucks ass. Sucks ass. Sucks ass. Okay? And it's a little vibrational. Okay? 
Argue with your mama, okay? His rap is getting killed every other goddamn day. Go argue with your mama. I miss Black Miley. Hell, bring black, bring back Black Pink. Bring back, and I'm not talking about Black Pink the Asians. <laughs> I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about Pink, the the white girl that's black. Okay, okay. Bring back Black Pink. Bring back uh, Black Christina. Okay. Y'all cannot tell me that they don't fucking give when they on like. And it's not just a white thing. It's not just a white thing. It's not just limited to Black Pink, Black Justin, Black Miley. It's not because even when. Black people get on the white shit. We sound fucking amazing. Okay, Kim, Kelly Rowland, when love takes over, Commander. Okay, <laughs> Rihanna. Okay, Rihanna's whole discography. Chris Brown, Usher. Like, this is why y'all stupid hoes need to stop trying to gatekeep shit and understand that it's music. Do y'all not understand that out of all the chaos and all of the things in the world, there are like literally only like a handful of things that actually bring us together as people and music is one there's sex there's love there's math there's food and then there's music no matter where you come from in the fucking world no matter what language you fucking speak there's music start celebrating it start fucking celebrating it like y'all gatekeep like what the fuck are you gatekeeping who taught you that who gave you that programming like you sound stupid you sound stupid if you say gatekeeping, something that you don't even own the rights fucking to. Like, bitch, you're not even an artist at that. Like, shut up. Let Black Miley do her goddamn hip hoppity, hippity hop, bop, bop, to the top thing. Let her do it. Because she sounds good doing it. And I'm here for it. I'm here for it. The 10th anniversary. Let's say, I thought this day would never come. I've been begging Miley for a banger so. I've been bank. I've been begging her for a banger so. Banger, banger, banger. Listen. I'm excited. Let me know that in the comment box below if you're excited. And if you're not, <laughs> get blocked. <laughs> get blocked. Okay? Listen, that's the end of this video. That's all I really gotta fucking say. That's all I gotta say. Black Miley is back, bitches. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. Because Black Miley is back. Okay? Hannah Montana, who? Okay? Hannah Montana, who? Miley about to show us was really the fuck good. And I can't wait to see it. Okay, so I love each and every one of y'all. If I didn't say it, then it wasn't said. Go make sure y'all join the Patreon exclusive story times and comments. I mean, well, that and I'll check y'all hoes out later. Let me know what y'all thinking down in the comments below. I can't wait, y'all. I, I can't fucking wait. I cannot fucking wait. Bye. And see, that is what we're going to go ahead and end this video. Now, remember, if you hated me for that opinion, don't worry, girl. There's a lot more where that came from. Just make sure that you like, you comment, and you subscribe and turn your notifications on. For extended videos and exclusive content, including full episodes of my new weekly podcast, let's start there. Make sure that y'all go ahead and subscribe to patreon.com slash scottsantana. And also, make sure that y'all join the bandit mailing list in the description box, so that way, y'all hoes never miss a video. Make sure that y'all follow me on Twitter so that we can engage and argue back and forth, and you know, just stay tuned for the hot shit that's coming to you, bitch. Okay? I love y'all. Bye. Come and get your name. Then different stuff is all right. I'm gonna get some bitches today. No, it's fine. I'm gonna get some bitches today. It's a vibe. I'm gonna get some bitches today. Be outside. I'm gonna get some bitches today. Cause I'm gonna get some bitches today. I'm gonna get some bitches today. Cause I'm gonna get some bitches today. I'm gonna get some bitches today. Cause I'm gonna get some bitches today. I'm gonna get some bitches today. Cause I'm gonna get some bitches today.